So Fortnite has been out for years now, and one of the things that has always kind of hit me with Fortnite is that it's, it has things that can be improved. That's what this video is. <laughs> um, I'm going to be going over what I think Epic Games should be adding to Fortnite. Um, not only to expand their player base, but in many cases, make it more fun for people who just want to play the game. This is my opinion, this is my view. If you have a different view, there's no reason hating on me for it. Um, you can share your opinion, say it in a nice way, and I'll be nice to you. If you want to send hate because of my opinion, you don't like it, go away. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are my opinions, these are my views on what I think Epic should do to Fortnite. That could really blow up the game even more than it's already blown up. And also maybe bring back players that have stopped playing because of how the community has gone. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, share it, subscribe if you're new. It's my birthday today, August 8th, so I'm recording a video on my birthday, so that's great. Um, I don't really mind it, honestly. I'm in a good mood, so hopefully this video will be good. Should be, hopefully. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but thanks for all the support lately. I appreciate it. And uh, let's get into the video. If you can't tell, I'm in a really good mood. Um, so, like I said earlier, Fortnite's been out for years now. And one of the things that I see endlessly asking Epic, among many other things, is first-person shooter. Now, I love games like Apex, Legends, or uh, Warzone, or whatever. I, I love those games because there's, first off, no building. You have to use your environment to basically protect you when you're in a fight. Um, two, it's first person. And three, it's a big map. Those games have big maps. And it's so much fun and competitive in ways to not only be a first person, but also explore and use the environment to your advantage instead of cranking 90s and sweating on people thinking you're better than everyone because you killed someone. And because you have like 900 and like you have like 3,000 mats and all that. That is why people quit Fortnite. That is why I quit Fortnite a long time ago. That's why I recently stopped playing until like a month ago. But I did take like a three month hiatus from Fortnite recently because of that. Because it was ever since like chapter one, season eight, let's say, maybe season 10, I think even before season 10, it was always fun like you know there would be that competitive side there would be people who would um try hard but there would be those people who would just want to play the damn game who would use their environment who would actually loot who would actually harvest mats but not crank 90s every two seconds or build to max build height in the build fight I, that's how what that's what fortnite's become and it, it's really depressing and sad to see that um, and truly, it's basically killed Fortnite in so many ways, with Epic really, especially this season, especially with the Team Rumble update, which I've already done a video on, um, and some other things, it really seems like Epic doesn't care about the casuals side of view, or side of things in this game, they only care about the competitive players, because the second they do something that's good for the casual players that want... The old Fortnite feeling back. Now, I'm not saying it's not all pro players. Most pro player players that I've known or heard them say want, like, an OG Fortnite feeling instead of people going full tryhard for, like, 10 minutes straight. They want that OG feeling back where there's a cooldown on builds or something. But what I truly believe Epic can do to bring back... A majority of their community that they lost recently because of how uh, try hard this community has gotten and also bring back or not even bring back bring in a whole new community is bring in not a limited time mode a full-on mode that will be like solo stewards or squads and team rumble and arenas that stay throughout the whole season don't go anywhere and they're permanent playlists for like the whole game for however long it lasts where you can go into the mode, you're put in first person, you'll be in the Fortnite map, you'll still loot, but you cannot harvest mats, and you have to use your environment to protect you instead of using builds. That is how they can make Fortnite better, in my opinion. 
I play Apex 90% of the time. I quit playing it because I'm on Switch, and if you haven't played Apex on Switch, um, don't. Um, it is horrible on Switch. And I'm really uh, disappointed that Panic Button couldn't do a good enough job to port Apex to Switch. My point is, is that what makes Apex a good game is that it has a competitive side to it, as a casual side to it. There's no, really, you're not tryharding, it's all down to your aim. It's still the same game that it always will be, even though there are tryhards. But not like Fortnite. Fortnite is the one game in the history of gaming where the tryhards are a bunch of 10-year-olds who don't know what they're doing and think they're better than everyone because they're literally just building up the build height and shooting down at you thinking they're better than you. They're not. They're really not. If you really think about it, they're not. That is why Fortnite has dropped so much for the past couple of years. That's why it hasn't been doing well. So a lot of people have quit. If they really want to bring Fortnite back, if they want to give people that OG feeling, in my opinion, I think the best way to do that would be to bring in a first-person shooter uh, mode, whether it's solos, duos, trios, or squads, or all four. I would prefer solos as the number one thing. And bring in the Fortnite map, have people still jump on the bus, but let it be in first person like Apex. You land on the ground, you loot, you get into gunfights, no build fights. There's no building. Maybe add Siphon, that could be a good thing to add in. Um, you know, add some more movement abilities like sliding. When you're going down the hill, you could slide, reduce damage. That's how you can fix Fortnite. That is truly, in my opinion, how you can fix Fortnite. Bring not only... The old people who have quit Fortnite recently because of the tryhard people, a bunch of 10-year-olds who think they're better than everyone, and how you can bring in a new community base who've always wanted first-person shooting in Fortnite and <clears throat> can truly keep this game going for years and years and years and years to come with more advancements to that first person if they ever bring it in. Here's why I'm saying if they do bring a first person, it should be in a mode and not just it's an option. Can you imagine how unfair it will be if you're in first person in the settings, you're in first person view, and the person you're fighting is a tryhard and he's in third person, he has much better aim than you? How do you think that's going to end up? And also, if you're trying to build and you're doing like 90s in first person, you could probably get a headache. So, <laughs> this is me assuming. That's why I'm saying I would prefer it if it was a mode. Let alone just add first person. I, I think we've been asking for it long enough. I think it needs to happen. That is my opinion on it. Um, and I truly believe that is how they can fix Fortnite. Bring people back. Bring new community in. And, you know, I mean, they can't really get rid of building in Fortnite. At least not now because it's literally what makes Fortnite Fortnite. But, at the same time, there needs to be something to even it out to where if you don't want to go into solos, because let's be real, even though there are competitive modes like arena solos, duos, and squads, if you go into a random solo match that is an arena, it's going to feel worse than arena. I've played arena solos and I've done pretty well in them. But when I go to a regular solos match, it is literally like I'm in, like, Cash Cup. I mean, it is so bad with the players, with them non-stop tryharding, and then them thinking they're better than everyone because they're tryharding. That's not what Fortnite was, and that's not really what it should be now by what Epic is doing. It's really not helping any of that. That is my opinion on it. That is my view on it. If you have a different view, you can let me know. Just say it in a nice way, and I'll reply to it. Um, I, you know, I think this is something that Epic really, truly needs to look at and figure something out. Because at this rate, let's be real, by season, like, 10, probably, it's probably going to be losing more players than ever before because people are going to be more tryharding than ever before. Like, every season, there's more people who are tryharding because they're playing more and more and more and more. At the same time... Is it really helping the community base? I don't see it as helping the community base. I see it as literally just kind of ruining it in several cases. And they really need to make a change. I truly believe they can do this. 
they can make a change to Fortnite entirely, and they can manage to still bring in new updates to not only Battle Royale, but also, you know, the matches themselves, how people play, but also can keep advancing on a new mechanic, which would be first person in that permanent mode for people who want to do first person, who don't want to build, who don't want to sweat, just want to go off of pure skill, because tryharding is not skill. It, it's you being a sweaty little brat. That's what that is. Um, so if you think you have skill because you're tryharding on people, it's not true. Um, you're just you're just annoying. Um, <laughs> but my point is, if they really want to bring legitimate skill into the game for people who like first-person shooters, you could bring in that whole community by doing that one simple thing, which is adding in a um, uh, first-person shooter mode. Solos, duos, trio squads, or just solos, whatever. And you could do it that way. I mean, we've seen Apex do it. They do it amazingly well. We've seen Warzone do it amazingly well. Any first-person shooter does amazingly well because one of the key things those first-person battle royales have, no building, you're using your environment, and you're still having that battle royale experience without having to crank 90s every two seconds because you're tryharding on people. That is why they do so well, and that is why I think Fortnite needs to take something from that book and put it into Fortnite, and Epic Games can truly do it because they've done for the past several years. I think if they do it, it'll turn out great. Might have some things that we don't like, but there's always room for improvement. And I think while this would be a big step for Epic Games to even consider, I think it could truly, truly, truly uh, help um, the Fortnite community not only bring most of its OG players back, but also bring in a whole new community that has been nonstop asking for first-person shooter. I think this can be really good for Fortnite, as I keep saying. So, yeah. I uh, think that's pretty much everything I want to say in the video. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.